what's going on? It's your sister Michelle here doing another video. I love you all so much. Thank you for joining my channel. New subscribers, come on in. Old family members, you know what's up. I miss you all so much. Like I said, I've been out for a minute, but your sister's back. You know what I'm saying? No narc zone. I still believe in that. I've not been feeling well, as I said in my other video, but <clears throat> I'm trying to get back on my grind. And I'm wishing you love and light in your journey. And I hope you're doing the best that you can do and the best that you can be and what you deserve the most, which is peace and happiness. Yes, you know that you do, and you too better not block me. Yes, this video right here is about the narcissist. And the narcissist, even though people say the narcissist does not have a conscious, whether well, consciousness and them having regret might be two different things. Now, narcissists might not have a lot of conscience about what they do. Well, most of the time they do not. But trust me when I tell you, they do have regret. Low seated regret. And what they did to you, trust me when I tell you, I've told you this in my other videos, they pay for what they've done to you, trust me, they also regret what they've done for you. Or well, not for you, to you. <laughs> they regret what they've done to you because at the end of the day, listen to your sister. Nothing hurts more, more, more than anything is having regret. That's one of the biggest things in life is looking back and having regret. Regret is the biggest thing that hurts not just narcissistic people, people in general, right? It's living in regret. And narcissists do regret a lot of time losing you, you and you, the best supplies they could ever come in contact with in life. Yes, on God's green earth. They have regrets for that. Even though they don't tell you that or show you that. They have forms of regret because at the end of the day, when you regret losing something so special like us, like I said, they're not going to tell you that. They're not going to give you your flowers. I'm going to always give you your flowers because you deserve your flowers. You're wonderful, phenomenal, sexy, and brilliant people. You don't need a narcissist to tell you that. I'm going to tell you that. Listen to your sister. They never give you your flowers. They never tell you how important you were in their life. They never tell you what impact you really had on their life because they want to try to take all of that and make it like they made their life better, knowing that's a lie. We are the ones that tend to make narcissists better because we are their fuel, right? Right? They never give you your flowers and let you know that you were the best thing that ever came into their life, probably will ever come into their life, right? So they internalize that stuff. They hold it down inside of them and they take it all and try to make it their own. But even though they try to do that, it never works. See, what doesn't belong to you is not yours. It never sticks anyway. Listen to your sister. You can go around and try to be anything you want to be and take everybody's identity and try to do all this stuff. But you know what? It's all false. And when things are built on falsehood, it never works out. Listen to your sister. I know what I'm talking about. I've seen it too many times. Yes, I have. You know, the narcissist, no good for nothing. Crumb snatching, body snatching, rats and YouTube don't block me. You know that's what they do. They try to take everything from you and your brilliance and make it their own. And they have regrets after they end up either discarding you, mistreating you, whatever the case may be, they regret the fact that they know they lost the best thing possible that they could ever obtain, but you'll never hear that from them. That's why I said in my other videos, a lot of times they go around and they try to take everything that you have and turn it to something new with their new situation or their new supply. They do this because they want to take everything positive that they know that you have without giving you your flowers for it, right? And give it to something else to try to build up this perfect example of life or whatever the case may be within themselves off of your back. But I've told you before, you can't build nothing off of somebody else's pain and off of somebody else's sorrow and think it's going to turn out right for you. It doesn't work like that. And when the narcissist comes to the realization of that, that's where the regret comes in. Because then they go back and say, you know what? I got this new situation here. And no matter how much I try to input my last supply or the last person I was with into this new situation, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. Now I have to look back and say, even though they ain't going to tell you, I have to look back and say what I had before, right, was everything I needed. Everything I needed. They didn't deserve it now, but everything that they needed, right? So they take all of this, those brilliant things that you are, how kind you are, how beautiful you are and all this stuff, try to put it on to something new, but they end up regretting it. 
because they never will find another you. They can go through this whole life and never find another you because for one thing for sure, no one is like you. You, 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 and you. You're perfect in every way. I've always told you that I think you're brilliant, phenomenal people. So if you're the, that kind of person and you have those kind of attributes and someone like that cannot see it, it's their loss, first of all. And what do you think they're going to do when they go on to something that's less than you? They're going to regret losing what they had. So listen to me when I tell you. The narcissists, yes, they don't have a conscience. And no, they don't let you know they have a lot of regrets. And some of them do. Some of them even come back, you know, the stinking ass to come back and tell you all kinds of stuff and beg you and everything else. That's what the Hoover is about. The Hoover is strictly that. I told you before, people don't Hoover as something that has no importance. The Hoover is nothing but a way of saying I have regrets. Not just regrets. I want to come back and see if I can do this again, but they don't do it for the right reasons. Don't get me wrong. But I want to come back and see if I can get this again from this person because there's something so brilliant there and something so wonderful there, right? So don't let a narcissist ever make you think that they're going on to something new or they got such a big thing going on and they have no regrets. They do have regrets. That's what the Hoover is about. And that's why the new supply and everybody else that they deal with after you gets it worse than you. Because they sit up in their mind and they think about that. They think about all the brilliant stuff that you brought to the table. When they didn't even have a damn table. You know they ain't got no table. Broke mother. And you two don't block me. You brought everything to the table. You were perfect in every way. They just couldn't see it. But trust me when I tell you. Listen to your sister. Regret? Definitely. Conscious? Maybe not. But who gives a damn either way? Deal with a narcissist with a no good funky ass. Your sister says it. I wish you nothing but love and light. You know you deserve the best. I love y'all. Bye.